my people were threatened. The decree to kill all the Jews was announced. But what can I do? I knew in my heart that I am the queen of the most powerful ever at the time. Because God takes me there. Uncle Mordecai sent a message saying I should come before the king, my husband, to beg for my people's lives. But I was afraid. No one can defy the king. What if I would lose my head? But because my love for my people, I asked them to fast and pray with me in three days. I wanted to feel the presence of the Lord. I wanted this courage to embrace me so that I might stand before the king of Medo Persia with confidence and courage. On the third day of fasting and praying, I stood ready to face the battle for my people's lives. I wasn't afraid anymore. And so I bravely declared, if I perish, I perish. My people were saved from destruction. And praise the Lord. He keeps courage. Stop! Stop! I can hear him chanting those words. You want them to kill me? Because I was a man. I was a god. I was a prostitute. I crashed the pound. Show me the people who wanted to take my life. I was now alone. I couldn't feel the blood shaking the machine or receiving no brother's love I received. And so this is this is the end of my sinful adulterous life. Then, then I heard one of the boys said, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The laws of Moses said that she should be stoned. A tear fell from my eyes. I was anxious about the red line because now I recognize that people were talking to Jesus. With a clear and powerful voice, Jesus replied, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast on a her. And everyone went silent, slowly the crowd disappeared. I was not alone with the Savior. I stood up and the Lord turned to me asking, Woman, where are those who died at Jesus? He had no man to get me. I replied, No one, my Lord. With a voice filled with tenderness, Jesus replied, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sing no more. I heard myself sigh with relief. And I knew right then and there that my heart belongs to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He forgives even the darkest sin.